hello lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to tie this beautiful round ghillie using one yard of ankara So this is the um, Ankara we'll be using for today's scarf tutorial. So you just want to fold it into two and then make your pleats before you place it on your head. But if you know how to make your pleats while the scarf is on your head, then go ahead guys. But for me, I always like to make my pleats first and then I place it on my head and then try to arrange it. So we'll be using 70-30 method if you're used to... Um, like if you're on OG in Gili, then you understand what I'm talking about. This just means that one end is shorter than the other end. So in this case, my um, the left part of the left leg of the um, of the fabric is shorter than the right um, leg of the fabric. So I'm just trying to arrange the pleats on my head now to just make sure that my ears are covered and there is like almost equal distance between each pleat. So I did four pleats um, as my base that's in front as my base. You can do you can do six if you like or three. I don't know. It just depends on you, but four is okay for me. And so um yeah guys that's basically this foundation is actually very very important so you have to try to make sure that um your pleats are lying flat on your head so when you get to the back you want the shorter end that's the 30 percent part of your ghillie to cross over the longer part this shorter part should actually be just long enough for you to be able to hold like me i put it under my armpits just so i can hold it tight and then you want to pull out you know the excess from the very end you want to pull out the excess i hope this makes sense and then yes this is what i was talking about the short part should just be long enough for you to be able to hold with your armpit since somebody is going to help you so after you've crossed your ghillie at the back we've packed like everything that needs to be packed like all the excess you also arrange the pleats in front on your head again and then now we just cross the ghillie or the wrapper i don't know but i'll be interchanging the terms this is actually ghillie style so you should understand so when you cross it over your head we're now going to tie it so this is me showing you what i do to tie the back so you just get the ends and then tie for that part inside that's for the shorter part you're going to like pull the excess scarf and then that's what you're going to use to tie not that part that is lying on your um on your ear i hope this makes sense this just helps to prevent that flap that is covering your ear from lifting up so it's the excess part that you're going to tie at the back so we're just going to tie the first knot as tight as we can and then just the second one is just going to be loose because we're going to be creating our pleats now so this is where the real work begins and this is what determines how like nicely the shape of your ghillie will come out so the principle here is you should just try to make sure that like your pleats are stacked on top each other plus since this is an ankara fabric we are not really so concerned about making sure that all our pleats are like visible and like showing showing like it's almost impossible well if you have the patience for it then maybe all we want to do is to just make sure that you know whatever pleats we can make with this it's like stacked they're like stacked on top each other so you would see me starting from the middle while i move to the um sides 
just to make sure that my pleats are aligned and then you should also try to make sure that you hide you know that tag that that part that has the name of your upper on it shall just try to hide it so this is just me now trying to make sure that my pleats are forming nicely and that they are stacked on top of each other this is actually just the bulk of the work guys and once you're able to like get your pleats to look you know as nice as you want it to look your literally done with this style it's very simple it just needs you to be like very patient with it so once you've gotten you know the desired shape that excess part now we're going to tie it to, at the back we're going to tuck it into that part that you know we just left loosely so i'll just open this up tuck that one in and then tie it again and yeah we're all about clean and beautiful finishing so i'll just tuck the excess parts of the um fabric at the back i'll just you know try to just cover up my knots and then tie it as nicely as i can get it to be and this is what the back of the scarf is looking like this is what the back is looking like it's looking beautiful and then in front i'll just do some more adjustments you know and then move it back a bit to make my forehead show very well and this is actually it for the round gilly style using our um, ankara fabric so the same principle goes for like the normal gilly gilly that you know of so um let me know guys if you found this um, video helpful i enjoyed making it because i love tying scarves and this is like my favorite scarf style so yeah you can actually achieve this style using your um ankara fabric too so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video um like subscribe and share my video and of course i'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye